Thanks, Catherine. I'm joined by Mike Bombarger from the Horseheads Community Animal Shelter with our newest WNY Pet of the Week. Mike, who do you have for us today? Uh, so this is Roscoe. Uh, he is a red bone uh, coon hound. Um, mm. He's about four years old. Uh, he was an owner surrender. Um, they couldn't take care of him anymore, so it wasn't any behavioral issues on his part. Um, he is the sweetest dog. <laughs> he uh, loves his walks. Uh, we'll go on nice long walks with you, but they're nice and slow so he can sniff everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yet I, I could tell he was a coon dog the second he walked in here because he, he alerted right away to, to something. I don't know mm -hmm. exactly what, but the tail was up and everything. <laughs> Mike, uh, uh, four years old, I think he's one of the, the tallest dogs that you've brought in so far. Yes. He's not going to get bigger, is no, he? No, no, this is his full size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a lot of people <laughs> are concerned about that. I also noticed he, he isn't fixed. Is he going to get fixed? Or, yep. Or? Uh, so he's up to date on all of his other shots mm -hmm. in medical. Uh, he's just scheduled to get his, uh, to get fixed. So. Yeah, and I'm wondering what you know about him, his personality, his temperament. Is he a family dog? How does he do around? Other animals as well. Yeah, absolutely. So he, uh, no problems with other animals, uh, loves other dogs. You know, he's kind of funny. He checks himself out in the mirror all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cats are okay. Um, and then kids. Kids, he had a, a small little kid in the house that used to crawl in his food bowl, and mm -hmm. he doesn't care. He loves, loves it all. So <laughs> Great. Well, that's amazing to hear. And Mike, I know Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. all these holidays are approaching. I know people tend to think about giving back this time of year. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Any donations for Horses Community Animal Shelter? What do you guys need? Or what do you need help with? Yep. Uh, so we, we could always use donations. Uh, we just got a nice donation from Midwestern um, Pet Food Company. So we're nice. good on pet food right now. But we definitely need cleaning supplies, bleach, and, and things like that. Yeah, you can see that coonhound kicking in <laughs> as he got up to smell stuff. And Mike, uh, Thanksgiving, people are bringing families in, mm -hmm. maybe outsiders that their pets don't really know. Is there a way to kind of mitigate the pet-human relationship for Thanksgiving? Or kind of how do you keep them at bay? So it's going to be dog you know, dog uh, mm -hmm. specific. Um, if your dog's not used to people or stresses out, the best thing to do is, you know, find the dog a nice quiet place in the house, a bedroom, um, and then don't allow your guests to knock on the door. You know, that if you know they're coming, just kind of let them in. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you watch what you feed your dog. Um, your dog can eat some Thanksgiving food, you know, carrots, uh, white turkey meat, uh, plain sweet potatoes. Uh, don't give them any turkey skin, turkey bones, um, and things like that. All right, Mike, thank you as always. And thank you, Roscoe, for coming in. Oh, guys, he is such a cutie. Uh, we'll have all these details for you up on our website at WENY.com after the show. But for now, Crystal, we'll send it back to you.